I have borrowed this LEGO Technic App Control Transformation Vehicle from a colleague because we wanted to see if it can be controlled using a LEGO Train Remote and of course it can. Forward, backwards, right and left and combined inputs as well. And of course it works. Transformed upside down using the same inputs. And you turn it off by pressing the green button. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it work with the remote control. Let's get started and see how quickly we can do this. So first go to code.pipebricks.com. The link is in the description below. We don't need the tutorial right now, so we'll click that away. And we want to install Pipebricks firmware onto the hub. So click there. You have a Technic hub. Click next. Click that you have read the agreement. Next. Let's name it uh, Transformation Vehicle. Too long. Okay, Transformation. And next. Now the hub must be put into firmware update mode. We do that by holding down the button, but then you can't really see the color of the LED. So I'm doing this. Hold down the button on the hub and it starts blinking purple like this. And we are ready to continue in the app and click install. You should see it pop up here, Lego bootloader, and click pair. Now the new firmware is being installed instead of the old one. And that is it. Now the firmware is installed and you can connect to your hub by clicking up there and click on its name and press pair. The second URL I gave you is to GitHub where you're going to see this code. This code is going to tell the hub how to connect with the remote control. Click on the copy raw file button over here. It says copied, go back to the code. We want to start a new project here, so click on the page, click on plus. Let's name it just trans, doesn't really matter. We don't need to use a template, so take that off, press create, and now paste the code into this place. That's it. Now we download it to the hub, and we do that by pressing on the button up here, the play button, and now it runs. Now the program is on the hub. I'll First ask you to turn it off by holding down the button like this. And now when you turn it on, you press the button to turn it on, press the green button on the remote, and then press the button to turn on the program. They connect, light is green on the remote, which means you can just drive off. If you want to revert back to the original firmware, simply connect to it using the Control Plus app, and then you are back to where it was before. Very easy, especially if you're borrowing it from someone else, that might be a good idea. As a bonus to this video, I'm going to show you what the code does so that you can perhaps improve it if you want to do that. It is quite easy to understand. If you're starting a new program with a template, you would see these for top imports with everything that we are going to need. And then I just added the remote because we're going to do remote control. Let's set up the stuff that is being used. We have the Technic Hub. We're going to use that in order to find out which side is up. The remote, as soon as you write this code, it will haul the program until you have a Bluetooth connection to the remote. We indicate with the light on the remote that a connection has been made. That's why it turns green. And then we are going to control the motors. They are on port B and A. One of them is turning the other way uh, compared to the other, so I'm putting in direction counterclockwise on that, otherwise it would be standard clockwise. And I just put them into a list. I don't care about which one is left and right at this point. For the program here, I want to use the right side to steer and the left side to go back and forth, as if I had differential steering. And you can of course update the code to do tank controls if you like that or prefer that. But let's see how we achieve the differential steering. We're going to see how much are we actually steering. And then we are going to have an incrementer for when we're holding down the steering buttons, how much more or less steering speed do, do we want in each loop iteration. So that's this number here. If you want the vehicle to be a bit slower with its steering, then simply reduce the number right here. And this is our main loop. We find out which buttons are pressed on the remote and then we act accordingly. So first we have the speed. By default it's zero. If you have the button on the left side pressed, so that's the left plus, and then we give it full speed. So we are going to give this directly to the motor 
And if you are going with minus, that's the other way, so we say a minus 100 to the speed. Very easy. The steering is almost the same, except this time I say on the right side, if you're doing plus, then I do additional steering speed with the increment you saw at bar. And I don't want it to go the other way with the steering, so I don't want negative steering if I go right plus, and that's why I do max here. Just like with right minus, I do minimum right here, so we don't go positive steering when we are pressing the left button. Otherwise, I default to zero so that it will drive somewhat straight, but that really depends on how well the motors are adjusted and if they're running at the same speed. I don't really care about that so much. You can easily adjust it. Now we update the speed that we are giving to the motors. So what are we giving it? Well, one motor needs to have the speed and then plus steering, while the other one has speed minus steering. And then we're just capping it between 100 and minus 100. The documentation is really good because if you go to the start page here and then just the technic up, like this, then there's actually an example of how to use the internal measuring unit or whatever IMU is standing for in order to find out if we are with the right side up or the other side up. So you can see right here to the right, it has the example and that we are using so that we can say I want one motor to have speed one and the other motor to have speed two. That is the one of the two motors that we set up here. The reason why I want to be imprecise about what is motor 1 and 2, or 0 and 1, is that if the, if the toy is turned upside down, then you know that it is the negative speed you have to give, and also on the opposite motor. And you simply test it, see, does this work? This worked first try for me, but if it doesn't for you, then simply flip the variables and see what happens with the remote controlled racer or track vehicle because that is an easy way to do this kind of coding. Finally, if you press the center button, it turns off. Technicup system shutdown, and that's it. So the code is fairly simple, and you can easily update it so that you do tank steering instead. I'm not going to show it here. Instead, that is an exercise that is up to the reader. And that is it for this video. Drive safely up there.